So therefore, from what I read online, they say that ISC is the least predictable section. Hello you guys and welcome to the video all about the ISC discipline section of the CPA exams. This will be one of the three sections you can take as your fourth exam. ISC will test you on information systems and data management, including data collection, data storage, and the usage of that throughout the data life cycle. It will also test you on IT audit and advisory services and SOC engagements. And what's interesting about this discipline section is that it is pretty much all new information, unlike BAR and TCP, where some of the information is being moved from far and rag into those sections. ISC is related to audit. However, they are moving some of the harder topics that were on audit onto this exam. So therefore, from what I read online, they say that ISC is the least predictable section because nobody really knows what the AICPA is going to test since this information wasn't tested before. So if you don't know which discipline section to take out of the three, people have said that you don't wanna pick this section for that reason, because BAR will probably be the most predictable, TCP will probably be the second most predictable, and then ISC will probably be the least predictable. But having said that, if you are really, really strong in IT topics and information systems, this is the section you would want to take. Me personally, I am not strong in IT and it seems like this exam will probably be mostly conceptual and not as much math. So this will definitely be the last choice for the discipline sections that I would choose. And also I struggled a lot with the audit exam. If you saw some of my previous videos, you would know how much of a struggle the audit exam has been for me. And since this is a continuation of audit, I would not choose this section. It sounds like gibberish to me. However, if you are good at conceptual questions and you are not good at math intensive exams, you might wanna consider taking this because this does seem like the least math intensive exam out of the three disciplines. Also something else to consider is that this is the only CPA exam where 60% of your score comes from the multiple choice and 40% of your score comes from the task-based simulations. All the other sections of the CPA exams, your score is 50% multiple choice and 50% simulations. So this exam does have more weight on the multiple choice. You might wanna take that into consideration if you're good at multiple choice questions, but you're not very good at simulations. Also, it said in the blueprints that 55 to 65% of the exam will be remembering and understanding, which is the easiest type of question to get right. And that is more than any other section of the entire CPA exams. So you might also wanna think about that. If the types of questions are easier, you're more likely to get more right. The structure of this exam is just something for you to consider. I would not use that as a deciding factor to take this exam because at the end of the day, I think it really comes down to how good you are at conceptual questions and how good you are at information systems. Just based on the structure of this exam, having more weight on the multiple choice and having more questions related to remembering and understanding, it does seem easier if you just take that into consideration. But I think it's also because of the fact that it's new topics that previously have not been tested on CPA exams before that the yeah, ICPA thinks, hey, let's give these people who take this exam a break. And since this exam seems to be very conceptual, I assume that it's gonna be similar to audit. They're gonna to try to make all the answers to the multiple choice seem like it's the right answer. So you really have to read the question carefully, word for word, read the answer choices carefully, word for word, and don't overthink the question. Because when you do that, you are probably going down the road of getting that question wrong. All right, that's all I have to say about ISC. I know it wasn't much, but if you do choose to take this section, I wish you the best of luck. Also, if this video helped you at all, definitely subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm trying to reach some YouTube goals this year, and I really, really appreciate you support my channel. And then leave me a comment letting me know where you are in your CPA exam journey. Best of luck to you, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.